All right, so now moving on to measures three and four. Uh, measure three actually starts with, uh, there's really nothing played, but it sounds like there's just a little bit of feedback happening. You can actually, it's the note, if you want to call it a note, that sounds, sounds like a D, like that D on the 27th fret of the, of the E string. So you could, you could hit that note to sort of uh, fake that, that feedback, since feedback's a little hard to generate at will. Uh, but that's that's on the one of measure three. So it's one and two and three and and on the th and of three, you're gonna bar on the fifteenth fret D and G string again with your index finger, and you're gonna play it twice, sixteenth notes, three and like that, and then you're gonna do um, the double stop unison bend on the end of the four. Of, of measure three. So so the unison bend is holding the 15th fret of the E string, the high E string with your index finger, and bend the 18th fret of the B string with your ring finger like that. That's the, that's the unison bend. You bend the 18th fret up to until they're both sound on that G, well, or almost sound on the G. Like that. Um, so again, so for the count, the count, the timing on this is the feedback sounds on one, one and two and three and four and. So that unison bend is on the and of four. All right, so that takes you through measure three. And then in measure four, so you're gonna, on the and of four coming out of measure three, I'm gonna keep counting right into measure four. You're gonna repeat the unison bend uh, two times on two and three, so it's like this. So four and one and two and three, like that. And then right after you repeat the unison bend on three, you're gonna play this quick uh, G minor pentatonic descending run, like that, Some, something like that. And it's, it's basically, uh, it's, it's in the G minor blues box. B flat major pentatonic, uh, the G minor pentatonic blues box. That was how I think of it here. It's first position, um, and the notes that I'm that I like to play there. It's really hard to hear what he's doing, but what I play there is I'll bend up the 18th fret B string with my ring finger, release the bend to 18, play the 15th fret B string index finger, and then go down to 17 on the G string with my middle finger and bend up. Um, and then play the 15th fret G string. So something like that. Um, and it's quick, so he, he does it. And then up right back on the end of measure four to the double stop again on, on the, the uh, 15th fret E and 18th fret B, um, which is gonna lead us right into measure five. So again, the count on that is coming out of measure three, you've got four and one and two and three and the and of four, like that. So it's a little hard to do this um, slowly at a time, but that's the idea. And, and hopefully you can look at the, the timeline of the measures and see where each one of these events happens on the timeline. So you've got, the last thing we did on measure four was on the end of four, we hit that double stop unison bend. We're on the first beat of measure five, we're gonna play another G minor pentatonic descending run, the same one that I showed you in measure four. Except for this time at the end, instead of stopping on the 10th, or the, sorry, the 15th fret G string, we're gonna go down uh, 17th fret D string and 15th fret D string to end on that F note. So it's like that. And you hold that, so something like that, a little pentatonic run, whatever you like to do, and end on the, that uh, D15, uh, 15th fret D string on the and of two if you can. That's the right timing, I think. Hold it out, and then on the four of measure five, you're gonna start this bend. And you're gonna bend the 17th fret G string with your middle finger up, full step. And uh, that leads us into measure six. So it's kind of a double stop bend, but you start it with, 
You start it with uh, the bend on the G string alone on the, the 17th fret and kind of sound that B, the 18th fret B string after you sound the whole bend. Kind of like that, they're a little out of sync. And then on the first beat of measure six, you're gonna let go of that, you're gonna let that, that G string drop down to the 15th fret with your index finger and keep, again, you're gonna keep the two notes playing at the same time the G string and the B string, and the, the B string are staying on the 18th fret with your ring. So this, in measure six, starts this repetitive sort of feel that he does, and it's key here, I think, um, even more than how you play the notes, how you release these. So the way the way that he's playing them, he's doing this very, uh, is emphasizing the release of the notes. So uh, and the best way I can describe it is he'll hold it f and for like the first Beat. So one and one and two, and then on two there's there's a gap. He stops the the sounding the note, and then three and four. So uh, hopefully that makes sense. The coming out of that G pentatonic. <laughs> so you really want to hear that silence between those. Okay, and then that starts this repeating because then now measure seven, he's gonna go. All right, so yeah, so as I just said, coming into measure seven, it's gonna be this repetitive riff, which is the double stop uh, bend that we start the song with, start this whole solo with. Um, where you bend up on 17th fret G string with your middle finger and you hold the 18th fret B string with your ring finger. Um, and this little riff that he repeats over a couple, a few times here, you're gonna bend up the 17th fret G string and then release it. And then you're gonna do a, pick, pick the 15th fret G string with your index finger and then hammer on pull off to the 17th fret back to the 15th fret so and it's the same feel and the same emphasis on the silence between those so it's kind of like that try to build it try to dig into it right before you bring bring the silence on it so it's hard to explain I th but that's what I would do to try to make it sound uh, as close as possible. And then in measure eight, uh, on beat number one of measure eight, you repeat that riff again, exactly the same. And then on beat three of measure eight, you're gonna reverse that riff. And what I mean by that is you're, you're gonna start it with the two notes, uh, the 15th fret G string with your index finger and the 18th fret B string with your ring finger. <laughs> And then you bend up the 15th fret to do that, kind of like the double stop. Um, and then on beat the end of the fourth beat of measure eight, there's this pickup line, this little uh, G minor pentatonic sort of descending quick pickup that goes into, it's gonna lead us into measure nine. And it's, it's this, basically like that. And it is 15th fret of the E string with your index finger, 18th fret B string with your ring finger, 15th fret B string with your index finger, like that. Um, so, that's measure eight. And then getting into measure nine, so coming out of measure eight again, it's, that's the pickup that leads us into uh, this whole step bend on beat one of measure nine. So on e, on the 18th fret of the E string with your ring finger, you're gonna hit that on beat one, one, and it's one and two. And the timing here is really tough. It's um. It's because it's not even on the and, it's it's between the and and the two of the second bend. So it's like one and two and, and the, the third bend is on, I think roughly falls on the and of two. So one and two and three and four and. So you're, you're, the whole measure of measure nine is bending, doing that whole step bend on the 18th fret of the E string. 
It's just the timing. And it really, this is one of those things, you know, we're analyzing this and dissecting it and trying to figure out where the timing is on this, but you kind of just have to feel it. So yeah. And then um, on the first beat of measure 10, you're releasing that bend um, to, e, to the E string, the 18th fret, and hold that out. Uh, and then on the, the second beat, uh, the end of the second beat, you're going to start the the ascending riff, a um, little like triplet type feel, ascending riff, and it's the 15th fret E string, 17th fret E string, 18th fret E string, and I play that three times. And the first time I'll try to really kind of chop those, th the notes, make them really staccato, strong, emphasize, really pick them hard. And then you're gonna uh, accelerate as you play the three repetitions like that. After the third repetition, when you come up to that 18th fret, turn right back around and descend on the 17th fret, 15th fret, and then 18, 17, 15 again. And then uh, you might do, you might jump right up to the uh, 20th fret and do a whole step bend. Uh, it's kind of, again, it's kind of hard to hear exactly all the notes that are playing out. I didn't slow it down, but it's something like, um, So if, you, if that's all you do, you, you just you just play the ascending line three times, and then descending to a, twice, and then whole step bend, which starts on beat number four of measure ten. Um, so four and one. So the, the one of measure eleven we're going to catch up on next. Yep, this is the end of part two of the video, so we'll get to the beginning of measure 11 in part three.